But we stop by to tell you that what's in front of you is bigger than what's behind you. Your destiny, your promise, your future. You might as well shout before you get it. Because God sent me here to tell you that what he has for you is going to be big. That it's my season. That it's my season. You ought to declare that over your own life. Say, I believe. That I believe. That it's my time. That it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. And I can feel it. And I can feel it. <laughs> Say, breakthroughs in the room. Breakthroughs in the room. It's yours if you want it. Anticipate it. God's getting ready to move. God's getting ready to move. Listen, you ought to declare this over your own life. Say it. God, he's working a miracle just for me. And it's going to be. Hey, listen, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about my future. Why? It's going to be. Praise the Lord and greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. We just want to share with you a few minutes in this time and moments of exhortation. In the beginning of the year, our pastor declared that this is the year of thinking big. And that word still is throughout the atmosphere, still permeates throughout the kingdom. And I want to use for our context scripture on today, Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do it exceedingly above all and abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. Sometimes when we are asking God for things and we get discouraged and we're not exactly sure where we are in our walk with Christ, that does not change infallible word that God gives to his people. Many of us, of course, know in this time with this pandemic going on in our country. Well, remember, God's word is beyond this world. It's beyond the natural things and the things that we experience in our life. And I'm just here today just to encourage you to remember to continue to think big. Many of you may already have testimonies of some of the big things God has already done in your life this year. But we want to send out another word or an extra word as you are thinking big to also think God. We as the people of God, we are admonished to set our affections on things above and not on things in the earth. And as God has brought us into a place beyond even ourselves in this time, we ought to continue to think God, think his way, think what he has promised us because the promise of God in him are yea and amen. I'm reminded of a time when the children of Israel were preparing to go into the promised land and there were two that were ready to take over the land and there were 10 that brought back a report of negativity. But those two, they thought beyond the circumstances of the giants that were in the land because they trusted the word of God and them being able to take over the land. Their mindset had to go beyond the circumstances so their thinking big went to a place that agreed with what God had already promised to the people. They were able to have that zealousness that we can not only take over the land, but we can do it immediately, just like God said. So I'm admonishing you today to not only think big, but think God. Because when you think God, then you are allowing God to manifest himself out of you the things that he has promised you. He will show you the pattern. He will show you which way to go. Not only will he show you the way, but he will show you who it is to be alongside with you in the manifestation of the big in your life. I'm excited yet in this time. I know some of you may say, well, 
because of the coronavirus, the things that we've experienced in our country and just in the world. But that's why God is now reestablishing or at least reaffirming his word. You have to continue to think big. God is not limited in what he does in our life based upon what's going on in the world. God is beyond the world. So we're admonishing you today. Continue to think big and think God. God's word will never, ever fall to the ground. And as we continue to move in this time, I don't know about you, but I'm even more excited at this time what God is going to do in my life than ever before. I trust him. I believe him. My faith in him has increased. I know some of us may have been in financial challenges in this time, but God is yet true. His word is yet real. And we are to believe that word. So while we are thinking big, not just for your monetary financial portfolio, not just that God will give you cars and houses. He's already promised you that. I'm referencing when you begin to think big, you won't even just think about yourself, but you extend it further than yourself and say, Lord, now whose house can I pay off? Lord, whose car can I buy? What college student's tuition can I pay? That's when you get in the mindset of thinking big. Because when you think big and you think God, God will allow that to now be revealed as you're walking daily with him. You don't have to wait until August, September, October, November, or December to see the manifestation of big in your life. You can see the manifestation of big in your life right now as you are listening to this word. So I admonish you just to reach out right now and say, regardless of what the enemy was trying to do, regardless of the things that are going on around me, I'm going to elevate my faith and to continue to think big. I'm going to continue to think big. God, I'm going to continue to know that his promises are going to come to pass. God is God. You have to remember he is soon to return and I want to be about my father's business. So as God begins to manifest the big in your life, continue to give him the praise for the big. Continue to give him the glory for the big. Continue to give him the honor for the big. The things that he is going to reveal to you. You don't have to be ashamed of what God is going to do in your life. It does not matter who understands or does not understand your faith. This is an individual affair. You are able to elevate your faith wherever you want it to go and believe God according to his word for yourself. Now, don't worry about the people that may not understand. We've already silenced them. Don't worry about the bank that may or may not give you the loan. God's already got that taken care of. Don't worry about the job promotion. Don't worry about who is going to walk alongside of you. You just keep focused on thinking big, thinking God, thinking manifestation, and God will bring it to pass. We have many examples in the word of God where the people of God had to continue to trust God. The children of Israel, while they were in captivity, they never stopped believing that God would not only deliver them, but take them into the promised land. And when Jesus came, he said, he that is set free is free indeed. We are set free to think as big as we want to believe. think. We don't have to have any blocks on our side. There's nothing to weigh us down. We can trust God so that the big will be manifested. Paul admonishes the people of God. God will take you to a place after you think big. God will take you to another dimension that is even beyond your thinking and what you may be able to ask. And when we sit in God's, on God's platform, when God takes us to that place that is beyond ourselves. What will God do for you? Therefore, we have set our affections on things above and not on the earth. Therefore, your thinking big will be in alignment with the will of God. So let God reign in your life. You continue to fast. You continue 
continue to pray. You continue to get more zealous about reading the word of God. I am telling you today, as you continue to think big, the influential power that God would rest upon you to where when you walk into rooms, atmosphere will change. For those that are downtrodden, those that don't know which way to go, God will allow you to go into an environment and you'll just change that atmosphere. We have deliverance in our mouth. So not only am I thinking big for myself, but I'm thinking big for my brother and sister. Why not? Our God is great. Our God is awesome. Our God is mighty. The word of God says whatever we may ask or think. God is raising his people up to a place to where the manifestation of the sons of God are at this time. We don't have to wait for another season. This is the season that the people of God must stand up and say, I'm a child of a king. I am not ashamed of the name of Jesus. My mind, my thoughts are, are heavenward. My Holy Ghost is heavenward. I am here to be a light and an example to others. So in my thinking big, I'm thinking and praying about you also. In my thinking big, I'm praying that God will relieve you of any challenges that you are going through right now. In my thinking big, my faith is such to a place to not only am I and my family going to make it, but you're going to make it. I'm praying that God will elevate his people to take on the authority that we have been given by the power of the name of Jesus to make changes in this day and time where, yes, Jesus still heals. Jesus still restores. Jesus still raises from the dead. That does not count out the power of what Jesus would do regardless of what's going on in the world and in our time. So I'm excited about thinking big. I'm moved to want to just do all that God has designed for me to do. And as we as a people of God connect one to another, there is nothing that will be able to stop us in the manifestation of the things that God has for us. You know, I'm reminded of Paul. He says, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. We have to ask God to reign in our lives that he will reveal to us the things that he has designed. So when you think big, God said, I got you. Now let's come up a little higher. As you ask God, God said, I know you're asking me. It's already done. But I want to show you something different. You're asking for a thousand. God said, I got a million. You're asking for a small four-bedroom house. God says, I got a mansion waiting for you. While you are still in the earth, you have to elevate your thinking to a place that God said, I believe it, and now I'm going to live in the manifestation of what I am thinking. And that is just amazing to me. That's a heaven principle. There is nothing that will limit us in how we can think and the things God will manifest to us. I know that sometimes we get discouraged. Sometimes we may not have everything we need, but God is sending a word that you must now rise up above that. You must continue to trust him. You must continue to hold to his unchanging hand. Oh, the day is over. The struggle is done. We don't need to cry anymore. We have to offer in this coming month of June. Say, okay, the beginning of the year may not have been like I would have but my thinking has elevated me to a place to where I'm not what the enemy wants to do, trying to do. I'm not for who's going to come with me. I'm not for who's going to listen to me. We are in a time now where the manifestation of the power of God in us is right at the forefront. And I'm going to be one that says, yes, Lord. I'm going to be one that says, any way you want to bless me. That's what I want. I'm going to stay on the front lines and take my thinking to a place to where as I think it, it comes to pass. And I tell you, sometimes that can get kind of scary because we can think things and before we can even get it out of our mind, God has already manifested it in before us. That's how God works. And that's why God, with the original word that our pastor has given at the beginning of the year, we have to have a mind to think big. And when we're thinking big, we have to think God. God will not lead you a 
astray. God will not send you down the wrong path. You just trust him. Sometimes you have to go to a private room. Sometimes you have to go to an isolated place just to regroup and say, God, I trust you. Lord, though they may try to slay me, yet will I trust you. Father, I'm going to lay aside those things that want to easily be set me and I'm going to trust you. So whatever you tell me to do, how you tell me to do it, when you tell me to do it, Father, I will obey. Think big. Think God. Think manifestation. Think kingdom. Think influence. Think all that God has promised you. I am telling you, while I am speaking to you and exhorting you now, I feel it strong in my spirit to share with you that the time is now for you to see the manifestation of the big things that God has promised you. You don't have to wait any longer. Say, Lord, which way do you want me to go? Father, how do you want me to process this? Lord, what is the pattern? What is the design? Who is to be on my team? And let me share this with you. You may not be one that can sing, but God will bless you so to where you can sing to somebody that is ready to produce an album. You may not be as good as a writer as you think you want to be, but God will bless you to sing in somebody's life that's called to be a writer. We cannot limit ourselves in what God wants to do with us and through us. So think big, think God, think I can do all things. Don't let anything around you or anyone around you persuade you differently. And if you have to be all by yourself, that's what you do. If nobody else sees it, that's all right. Because God promised you, God showed you the things that you were thinking, how big you were thinking. God promised you. You that so you now pull up yourself, get courage going on, have your faith to a place to where I'm going to trust Him, I'm going to move according to the power of His Word. Don't worry about the small stuff. There was a saying, don't sweat the small stuff. Well, we don't need to sweat the small stuff because our thinking has went somewhere big. I'm not thinking small now. I'm thinking big. So as you continue throughout your day, as you continue through this time of the year, as you continue even through this month that's coming up, remember, think big. God, and don't be afraid to grab a hold of the things God's doing in your life. Enjoy the big that God has designed for you. Capture it. Move in it. Let God manifest himself through you because you're also called to bless somebody else. That's how big our God is. That's how large we can think. That's where we can go with what we are designed to do. I want Jesus, when he comes back, to see me about his business. I want him to, when he comes back, to see that I trust him. I want him to see that, yes, I will live according to your will. I will be a light. I will be an example. I will be the child of God, the son of God, that you have designed for me to do. So think big. Live in the big. Think of God. Think who you are. Know who you are. Trust God, and I am telling you, God will not only reveal and show you the way, but he will bless you above what you can imagine, think, or ask. Trust God in the rest of, for the rest of this year to where your testimony in June will be, God did it. July, it was a big thing that happened. August, God did it greater. September beyond what I could imagine or think. October, God did it over and over again. November, God paid off the house. December, I am debt free moving in 2021. Remember, think big, think God, and may God continue to bless you, keep you, may his face shine upon you, and always give you great peace. This is our prayer in Jesus' name.